Are you comfortable? Yes. I'm surprised that you remember. My name is Harold. And you are our honored guest at the Notel Motel. <laughs> yes. I know it seems a little sullied for a hotel of ours to be called No Tell, but it has its reasons. I'm sure you understand. I've been seeing you for some time now. Well, I have my ways. I'm, uh, I guess I'm someone who appreciates your work. Oh, not that work. I'm not interested in what you do to slip on your mask. I'm far more interested in what you do when it comes off. Exactly. I am small and insignificant, thin and visibly frail. I am a nobody, but you, oh, you, you are an artist to draw. You have all of them looking at you. And at first I thought it was just a twist of the knife of fate. You see, in my time, in my travels, as short as my range of worldliness actually is, I've met many, many of beautiful people, especially in my time here. It was difficult to find work the way that I am. I am somewhat off-putting, you might say. The difficulty finding emotional connections with people Understanding cues, socially, emotionally, uh, I just don't always notice when I'm supposed to feel or what I'm supposed to feel. Sometimes I don't feel anything at all. But I've learned that the men and women who frequent this hotel the men and women and everyone in between. They're special. They give for a fee, but they give. They give everything. They let you explore. They let you live with your guard down for time and for a fee and they don't pass judgment and the world the world hates them for some reason well not everyone of course uh, I would stay right where you are I know why you came because evil recognizes evil you have been frequenting around the hotel for some time 
you have been looking at one of my favorite angels. And I believe that you got a room here because you were hoping to do something to one of my angels. Typically, I don't mind a bruise here or there, a mark, sometimes a scar. It comes with the job. I've learned to tolerate that. It's difficult to understand and explore what you need when your mask has slipped. And I understand. And as long as it's done consensually, respectfully, then it is a mark of love, a badge of honor. But you, you wanted more. You wanted so much more. And that is not allowed. I said sit down. So now you're in a room with me. And I get to let my mask slip. Yeah, you're starting to figure it out. I knew you would. Someone successful like you. The message must be getting through, huh? You're suddenly looking for exit strategies. Don't bother. I've already taken care of all of that. Well, you gave me all your information when you were at the desk. Oh, oh, yeah. Now you remember. One of the joys of looking the way I do. There's so few of them when you think about it. But that's okay. I'm okay. I love me. My angels taught me that. But one of the small joys of my existence is that I'm rather invisible. It allows me to learn all about people without them ever even bothering to look. And you, in your success, in your excess, in your insatiable need to do harm to the wrong people. You didn't bother to recognize the monster at the desk. You didn't bother to look at the room you were going to. You didn't check to see the entrance that I had made in secret. You didn't bother to look at where the tools that you use are left. So I'm afraid that you are going to fall victim to your own methodology. Because that's my joy. That is my purpose. To keep the monsters from touching my angels, the men, the women, and everyone in between who let me be me. They know, they know all about me. Worse, they know what I'm about to do to you. So, please, Make all the noise you want. Ah. Music.
music from heaven. Let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> 